means in terms of its multiplicity and the way it behaves, and the zero, a possible equation, and the degree of the given function. So let's take a look at our first graph. If you notice, this graph looks like a line and it passes straight through the x-axis. And that point that it passes straight through, for now, we're just going to label as x equals negative 3. So since this passes straight through the x-axis, it has a multiplicity of 1. So anytime we see something going straight through, we know that it has a multiplicity of 1. As we said in the definitions, a 0 is the same thing as an x-intercept, so our 0 here is x equals negative 3. Our possible equation is going to be y equals x plus 3. And I'm just going to show it to you with an exponent of 1 for right now so you can start to see the pattern. But we know that that exponent of 1 is not necessary. And this would be a degree 1 function. Our next graph touches the x-axis at x equals 0, so let's label that. And it kind of touches and then bounces and goes right back up. So this is a multiplicity of 2. It's tangent to the x-axis. It touches once but doesn't cross through. And it has a bounce. So whenever we see something like this, which we're going to call a bounce, we know that it has a multiplicity of 2. So our 0 is x equals 0. Our possible equation would be y equals x minus 0 squared. But we know that we really don't need that minus 0, so you could write it as x squared, but I want you to start seeing this pattern. So that's why I have it in parentheses with the squared on the outside. And this would be a degree 2 function, second degree function. If we take a look at our third graph, this graph crosses over the x-axis at, let's say, x equals 1. So let's label that. And this is what we know is a multiplicity 3. It flattens out before it crosses the x-axis. So unlike the first picture, it doesn't go straight through. It kind of squiggles through. So our 0 here would be x equals 1, because a 0 is the same thing as an x-intercept. And our equation would be y equals x minus 1 to the third power and it's a third degree function. So if you notice so far what's happening is our multiplicity is matching the degree and it's also matching the exponent on the outside of the parentheses. Our last graph, if you take a look at that one, this we're going to say touches at x equals negative 4. And this one looks a little bit similar to the multiplicity of 2, except this time this is a multiplicity of 4, because although it's tangent to the x-axis, it's not exactly the same as multiplicity of 2. It flattens out a little bit as it touches the axis, whereas multiplicity of 2 was a straight bounce, this one f is a little bit flatter. So our 0 or our x-intercept, or which is also known as our root, is x equals negative 4, and our equation here would be y equals x plus 4 to the fourth, because we now know that our multiplicity matches the exponent, which also matches our degree.